Where is that? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, no. You're like, I'm ready to pounce the moment there's a drop. Oh, oh he's inside. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Uh, yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort. ...before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. It's a beautiful weapon, finely crafted. Thank you. I thought you might like it. Now, now, take it and come, Heather. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god, uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you, what little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herobriv and Unwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. 
The locals were chair. Are we hunting, Alfgar? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. Ah, my old friend Grim. How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other, as one Dane to another. It is good to meet you, Grim. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? What's Aegor uh, holding? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This is the threshold of a beast's home. There's no doubting that. Okay, that's not fair. Wolves. I mean, there's, there's no bear. These are wolves. I like this ability. A sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough, and I can't tell you how to handle this, but please! My god, help me with it! They will attack on sight. Jake! Fly This is a stunt by Aegor. Burn this! Stand on the down! Search every last house, then burn them when you're through. My bow and arrow is gonna carry me. Oh. Yeah, it's not even highest graphics too. This is like medium high settings. It's pretty impressive. Men who would see you burn or dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. 
You're a man of many riches, Alfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shire mood will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. <laughs> nice bear. <laughs> well, I don't have to attack it, so... I won't. I knew that would kill me. Is everything ready? The Shire Moot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Sure. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shire Moot for myself. I'll follow. I'll follow in the shadows. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones. But they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. <laughs> It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's not an easy choice to make, but I will choose with care, I promise. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. <sighs> Bro. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. This is not going to help me at all. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. No oh, didn't help me at all whatsoever. Good evening, Alfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Alfgard. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say, unreservedly, that I am the man who would lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. Oh, uh, I was like, what are you holding? Return the house of the ferocious... Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Dringer. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. <laughs> How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. I don't know who are we voting. I gotta speak to everyone. Bishop, Eivor, 
I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. <laughs> I'm gonna vote for Hanold. Three men, three possible futures. Oh no, I wouldn't. What's he really, really Which doing? These sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them. It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Tunwald. Humbald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Lead your shire with pride, ferocious swan. It is decreed by this lawful shire moot that the elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hunfjord, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I wonder, like, how many people vote for each? What was, like, I the number? I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best for each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. Oh. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? <laughs> Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! You're right, Cap. You're right behind him. Wow. Go. 
This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Hunwald. The ultimate seed is yours. As your war council, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief totter. You won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? No. That choice is yours to make, Ultiman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. <laughs> Um Espírito Santo. This is moving so slow. A bold attack. And in broad daylight. The what news, Hunvald? We've learned that Herevrith rode for the fort at Anikastri following the massacre. I have assembled a fiat there. Quite a large one, in fact. They eagerly await your orders, Eivor. You mean your orders, Selderman? Ah, yes, that's right. My orders. Which are... Which are what, exactly? Who can say? Ride with me to your camp, and we'll find out together. Herebrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. He's an order of the ancients. Look at this line, holy shit. <laughs> Look at this pathfinding. This is a beautiful line. I'm trying to fit it as a sixth horse. 
mimic, mimic all the exact. Look at their footsteps. It's like we it's are the men of stuff. Lincolnshire. Remember it. Okay, Here's the camp. Do you see? The Feard will soon be ready for action. Our warsmith has arrived. The Feards are ready to fight. Chief de Naval, can we win this fight with the men you see assembled here? If they fight with the bravery of double their number, we may. And is there room in your Valhalla for a ferocious swan? Of course. Let fly your glorious banner. Are we ready then? Yes. We attack now. Ready the feared. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Yep. Mm. <sighs> Prepare for battle. Did I pick Bishop? I don't know, that was a good question. Maybe he probably wouldn't have attacked us. To me, holy or maybe he was already power hungry and decided to do the it anyway. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. Come, we'll feed the raven! Climb up. Now you Point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He he's he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scamperous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. Lord, please. Our battle is lost. Continue the work of God, my boy. Get away from me. You're one too, brother. 
Is it gonna work? It works. I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Hedavrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. I think this music is glitching, like it shouldn't be playing it now. Eivor, is he... Is the bishop dead? He bled too little and talked too much, now he's gone. I won't miss him, but Atcha will need some time to grieve. Lincolnshire is yours to lead, Elderman. The hardest fight begins now. The din of battle still rings in my ears. I think I now know what it means to be a leader. Good. I would ask a favor, if I could. Name it. As Elderman, my life may be a dangerous one. For a time, anyway. Would you allow my Swanborough to take refuge in your settlement? At least until I feel all danger has passed. We'd be happy to have her. Thank you, my sturdy Norse berserker. The mead halls of my shire will be lonely without you stomping about. Our people are bonded now. We must look out for one another. It. I am a horror with goodbyes. It'll do for now. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Best tell the good news. For the tenth tenth time. Seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. I should talk to Hytham about my next targets. I'll talk to Hytham. I'm grateful to see Basim returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. Godam is dead, nameless and alone across the open sea. A master of the order hewn from the trunk of their dying tree. You are getting closer to the roots. Here. This marks fewer members of the Order. Ah, good. I hope this one did not give you too much trouble. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There are more medallions to collect. I have to go. Then go in peace.
Oh god, what's happening? Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun. What did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago. I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks, and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <laughs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return? Exactly. Yes. All right, I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hog has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my. Quiet. Let me speak. That's Holger. He's he's right. Holger. After careful thought, it is clear that. What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief. Robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that, that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of thirty sailcloths. Thirty times? Surely you jest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to play prax, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? My god. I think I do have to betray him.
I mean, I'm, like, I can't be wishy-washy at this point. I just gotta go all in. Sigurd, the punishment must fit the crime. Your judgment is cruel and unfair. Cruel and unfair. Oh, no. No, you have it backwards. I am the definition of what is fair and what is not. I am your yard. The source of all right and wrong. The lord of justice in this place. Without rank. Without order. Without a chain of command. Life cannot endure. Chaos will reign. Do you understand? As my brother and my Jarl, I back you, Sigurd. But in the face of injustice, I cannot help but speak. <laughs> Have you never in your life known when to hold your tongue, Eivor? Nor defer to those wiser than yourself. My judgment stands. Thirty times the sail cost value. That is final. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> I'll just give him silver. Ranvi, where are you? you? You put me in this situation, Ranvi. What the hell is Good going day. on? 